Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about how to improve uh, user experience on your app with our ad quality product. I'm Karen. I'm the product manager of ad quality. I've been working with this product for about four years, back when it was Zoomla, which was acquired by Iron Source last year. Basically, my job is to listen to people like you and understand what you want to see on your platform and make sure that your users have the best experience. So before I dive in, I want to talk a bit about Iron Source. So if you didn't know, Iron Source is a business platform for the app economy. Our platform addresses two main uh, segments. One, app developers like you, who wants to have successful businesses. And second is telecom operator, who wants to engage their customers better. So what am I going to talk about today? So first of all, we're going to have a quick intro to ad quality. Most of you probably know what ad quality is, but for those who are not, we're going to explain it a bit. Second, I'm going to talk about the main strategies for improving your ad experience. And also talk about how would you measure those success. Lastly, we're going to wrap up with some Q&A and then um, remember you can ask questions along the way and I'll get them at the end. So I'm on a lot of clients call and the most important thing that I hear from you guys is uh, you want your users to have the best experience. Of course, there's a lot of ways to get that. You can make uh, engaging games. You can find the right placement to make enjoyable um, games for your users and give special rewards. In this webinar, we're going to talk about how to do that with ad content. So there are two ways to give the great ad experience I've been talking about. First of all, focus on the content itself, tracking the creative, removing the ones that are not fit your standards. Second is um, see how your users interact with the ads. Uh, talk about the experience of the ad and make sure that the users are not churning because of them. So we actually have a tool here at Iron Source that gives you both ad quality, which as I said, I'm the product manager of. Basically, the tool is a level play mediation platform tool that gives you control on your ad content. A lot of the tips that I'm going to cover today um, will help you understand how to do that easily using ad quality. Okay, strategy one, improving ad content. <laughs> so your goal here uh, to make sure that all of the ads are relevant and appropriate, okay? Um, to do that, you need to work with the network, basically making sure that you're setting up a set of rules with the network that comply to your, basically, uh, standards. Now, how would you measure it? First of all, if you will see a decrease in user complaint, it tells you that users stop complaining that they see inappropriate ads. You can also uh, see a decrease in the response time since you have a lot of tools to uh, track those ads and find them quickly. Lastly, you can see a decrease in the violation of the rules you've set with your network. So now for some tips. First, you want to set up the right rules um, for your ad. Okay, it can be different for different publishers um, and you need to think about what's important for you. If, for example, you have users that are under 18, you will need to make sure that you don't have ads that are rated above 18 and maybe you don't want to show them casino ads. That's a first uh, example. The next tip that I can give you is you need to go over the ads that are running on your app every day and see if there's a specific ad that pops up. Um, see if there's a violent or nudity or something inappropriate going, going on on your app and basically um, request to not show it again. So now that you find those ads using the rules or the gallery view, you can basically copy the creative ID, the campaign ID, share it with your network and request to not show these ads again. After a few days, you can follow up, making sure that they did whatever you asked for and 
that's it. Following those three tips, basically, you can make sure that you have less user complaints, less violation of rules, and you, you've improved your response time. Strategy two, uh, optimizing user experience. So what does that mean, optimizing user experience? Basically, you don't want ads uh, to be misleading on your app. You don't want user to try to go out and stay on the app. You don't want to have auto redirection. And you have two main ways to measure the success of tracking those stuff. You can see if there was an improvement in retention rate, um, meaning users aren't getting annoyed and churning out. Second, you can see if there was a decrease in user complaints because um, you fixed a lot of issues with the behavior. So the first way is basically to look at quality clicks, which means um, clicks that were intentional. Uh, you really, the user really wanted to click the ad. So we have here at Iron Source a metric that we've invented called QCTR, quality click-through rate, which means um, high, C, high QCTR, the user had good experience. Low QCTR, the user uh, probably didn't have a, the best experience and you need to check up with why. And you have different types of issues that might pop up. First of all, if you have a really high QCTR, a really high Q, uh, CTR and really low QCTR, that means that was there was a problem. Second, um, it, you can look at high bounce rate. Users that clicked on an ad and immediately came back to your app after might indicate that there was a problem. If the ad was really, really long, if there were a lot of auto clicks, clicks next to the X button and clicks in the very first second of uh, the ad playing might indicate some more problems. After identifying those problematic ads, basically all you need to do is again, copy the creative ID, the campaign ID, share it with the network, and that's it. So now that we've covered uh, the strategies, uh, I can share with you that we already have a lot of publishers using ad quality on Level Play and are super happy. And you can go to our website and see a lot of case study around that um, if you want to read more. And if you want to start using it, you simply need to integrate the SDK, which is a few lines of code. It's a really, really simple integration. And that's it. You will have full access to every all of the data points that I just described and see and monitor your ad content. That's it. Thanks for listening and everyone. Um, any questions? Okay, just a second. Yeah. Okay, I see one question. Um, so does ad quality works for all networks? So all of the major networks are supported and are presented on our platform and you can see everything. Second, uh, second question that I see here, do I need to be a level play uh, user to use it? Okay, so all of the mediation partners uh, can use ad quality, um, level play can get it for free other um, will get it as a paid service. Another interesting question that I see is, uh, can I block the ads directly from the platform? No, what you can do is reach out to the network um, with a request for more details and uh, talk to them about it, but not directly block it. Um, how much money monthly fee? It really depends on the the size of the account and uh, a lot of a lot of more uh, uh, stuff that uh, around the the apps that you're using, the amount of users and so on. So uh, just reach out um, to us and we will talk to you about it. How often do I up do we update the ad quality SDK? It's a lot of the updates are doing like. Um, we're doing from the back end, no, not, no need to update the SDK itself. So it's not something you need to do rapidly. Um, 
אוקיי. וויט. קום, that's it. Uh, I hope I was able to answer all of your question and you find this uh, webinar interesting and uh, yeah, integrate SDK. <laughs> Bye.